Hello everyone, we are going to look at how to bake textures. So if you have created multiple materials for creating the look of your object and now you want all those materials to be merged into one single image, then uh, how to do the baking is what we will be looking at. For example, in this example, there is an eye and I had one material for the dark part, the other one for the brown and then the one material for the white. And now it has been converted into one image uh, and we have unwrapped this as well. So then now you can take it into Photoshop and make any changes, add veins and stuff like that to further enhance your uh, uh, look of your uh, texture. So how, we'll see how to do that. If you, I'll start with a new file and we'll get rid of everything in the scene. Let us add a UV sphere, all right? And then we will share smooth it. Now we will go to materials and cre create three materials. The first one is going to be called white. The second one will be, let us create green eyes. And then the third one is black. All right, so let us make the black one black, maybe a little greenish. The second one is green, a little darker. And the third one is white. Okay, so I'll hit the edit tab and we will select this one and control plus and we will assign the black material to it. Okay, then we'll control plus this and control D, select the central part and we'll assign the green material to that. And then now we have three materials and we will convert this into an image texture. So right now there are, there is no uh, image attached to our material. Uh, and then there are three materials. So we'll get rid of these three materials. We'll only have one. And instead of the green material and black material, we have the image texture. So to do that, we will have to select the whole thing, go to UV editing. Um, before that, I went into the transparent mode so we could uh, select everything into UV editing. All right, so this is our uh, unwrapped UV. And if you go to the data properties and go to UV mapping, you will see that the, there is a UV map saved. So this is your default UV map. We can create a new UV map and then call it an eye UV. Okay. And then uh, this is on. And then now once we will change this, we can see the difference. Okay. So for example, I'll go to UV. UV unwrap, smart UV unwrap, and I'm going to use say 0 0.05 as a distance, and I'll use 60 degrees, and then you get this UV. So if I turn this UV on, you will see this UV, and then this is the default UV. Okay. So this is a new UV, and this is the default UV, and the uh, current UV is active So we will keep the current UV active that is fine and then uh, We need a new shading tab So Let us do it here for example so we'll Use uh, shading editor so you see that we have these three different materials which don't have any image texture So I'll create a new image texture and I'll call it I texture. Okay, and then I'll go to save it and let us save it on the desktop as I. All right, now what we need to do is we need to bring that I texture into shading for Blender to bake it to that image. So we'll go to add 
and search for image texture and then we will open that eye that we created and plug it in so now we have an eye image and we want to bake the texture of the eye which is here okay the green black and white onto this image and this is right now in black so i'll copy this control c i'll go to green and paste it and make sure that it is highlighted so now we have the image into all these three materials and we will tell blender to bake it to these uh, and then it is going to be onto the new eye okay from the old eye so we will see make sure that the old eye uv is selected and then the U, new eye is grayed out from the rendering mode we'll go to cycles and to speed up the work i'll make it uh, say 240 so the more samples you have the better the image quality will be and then we'll remove the noise now we have to go to the bake section and we are going to bake only the diffuse and we don't want the direct and indirect we just want the color and then we select everything here and then we simply call it a bake now it is going to bake the texture and you will see the green and the black pop up here okay so and then you can see that the bleed is uh, 16 so i want to reduce it to maybe 2 and i'll bake it again so if there is you don't want an overlap of color so i'll reduce that okay and you can see that now it is reduced so i'll go to image save the image and now we'll go to our modeling tab shading more materials now we don't want the green material we'll remove it we don't want the black material and the white material is going to have the base color of the image that we just created and then we will go to uv map and we will turn on our new uv unwrap okay so this one was the old uv okay this is the old one and we want to use the new one which is this one and that's about it so you can create multiple materials for your object even if you have multiple objects you can do the same thing and combine it into one image texture so if you have a big environment which has different textures and you want to bake it into one to make things simple you can bake your textures that's about it thank you very much